今までは何日経ってるか覚えてへんけどこうなっちゃうなんて思わんかったあってもいいしあ報告俺は地図の習得ないかの俺の道徳必ずお金に追いつく壊れちゃう来朝食はいはいはい That is out on February the 3rd You best go pre-save that You guys are very nice to me And I know you guys got me So またリチャードテレビへようこそみんな元気なのかい今日ですね Well, I just want to say thank you for the support you showed me on my last video. It was just beautiful. So many good pieces of feedback. Such a good response.、Um, and yeah, now I'm labeled as a virgin. So, But if you guys are happy, then I'm happy. You guys asked for a part two, Stranded in Kyoto,、uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. If you haven't watched the previous video, I suggest you go back and watch that because that's just the part one. This is going to be the story about how I got stranded in Kyoto because I was a little bit of a dickhead. Quick recap for you guys. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. So, to recap, Virgin. From the UK, goes to Japan,、um, stays in Tokyo,、uh, gets in contact with a girl from Kyoto who showed semi romantic interest, goes to Kyoto in order to pursue that semi romantic interest. You know what? It wasn't even romantic interest, she just complimented my glasses or something. Travel six hours to go see her,、uh, spend the day with her. Well, I plan to go back on the same night, get to the bus stop in time for my bus. Somehow missed my bus, didn't have the money to get a new ticket, no food, phone battery on 5%. I'm just wondering if this is it, if this is the end. Like, the things we do for love. Do you know what I mean? Japan is primarily a cash based country, so you have to bring cash. And I stupidly just didn't bring enough cash with me. So that meant I didn't have enough money to buy another ticket. It was midnight, so my granddad, who was in Tokyo, was already sleeping. Who am I gonna call? So I was just like, let me call my dad. My dad's in England. It's midday. So let me just try and call him. 5% battery left, keep in mind. I'm just like, I dial him up. Is there anything you can do? Be call someone from the embassy to come and pick me up? I don't know what else to do. Like, you know what this Nick, you know what this guy said? Hi, oh,、uh, Pete. Bro, that's Pete. Now listen, now honestly, I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'm at a little bit of a, I'm at a function right now, innit? I don't know, like. Take the L on this one, like, I'm sorry, I can't really do much. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, but dad, I, I, I don't have anywhere to go. Like, I, hey, where you going, there's no way I can get hey, out、Felix. of this. Hey, where's your friend? Hey, Richard, Richard, listen, learn from it, innit? Like, fatherly advice, you know, go for what you want in life, innit? Hey, I need to go, yeah, safe. Okay, bye. Now, my dad's not a bad guy. He's probably watching this as well. Dad, if you're watching this, you're not a bad guy. But you're a dickhead. You're a, you're a dickhead, mate. Look, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah? You have a son or a daughter calls you up, yeah? And they're like, I'm stranded. I missed my bus. I don't have any food. My phone's on 5%. This is my last call that I'll be able to make. Is there anything you can do to help me? Bruh, my dad, yeah? He fully just said, Rot. まあ、そうなったのはもちろん自分のせいって承知してんだけどそういうふうに困ってる時自分のパパに自分で解けよとかしょうがないとか言われるとムカつくんだよ。Like fair enough, it's my fault for getting into that situation but did he ever tell me not to simp over girls and to travel six hours just to see one that may or may not be romantically interested? No. So you know what? I blame you. My dad, he yeeted out. Um, this is the beginning of the end. So I've got nothing better to do. Let's have a walk. Let's tour. Let's tour Kyoto. Let's have one last look of the city I'm about to die in. And then, yeah, so I had a little walk around and then it occurred to me wait, there's a McDonald's at the Kyoto station. So maybe I'll, I'll wait until the morning and then go to the McDonald's, use the Wi Fi, charge my phone, and then maybe make a few calls and see what I can make happen. I just gotta pass the time. So. I wasn't tired enough to sleep on the floor. And this brings us to the word of the day. Aruki mawaru. Aruki mawaru loosely translates to walking around. Aruki coming from the verb aruku to walk, and mawaru coming from the word to revolve or rotate. Aruki mawaru, walking around. Yeah? 
I'm gonna give you a few day boom so that maybe you can use it in the future, but hopefully you won't have to. Kyoto no machi o aruki mawaru dote. And also, Kyoto no machi o aruki mawaru hentai na gaijin san. And that's the word of the day. Moving on, to be fair, the girl that I went out with, she did say that I could call her if anything went wrong. I didn't have any phone battery left anyway because uh, I wasted that five last five percent on my dad. Rot! As was sitting in the dark on the street um, and I was crying. At this point, I was actually just crying my eyes out. I'll say that straight up. I was crying. There's nothing wrong with crying if you're sad, in my opinion. What was wrong was the reason why I was crying. I wasn't crying because I was stranded in Kyoto. Yeah, I wasn't crying that I, I had no money left to get home. But it was because the, somewhere out there, the love of my life was still in the same city. And it was ironic because all I wanted to do was hold her in my arms. Even though we had only just met online and gone on one date. Yeah, even though she looked nothing like her pictures. Yeah, it was the closest I'd ever gotten to kissing a girl. Sugoi, horete shimaimashita. Baka na dote. Sugoi, naka hatsu deto. So it was coming to about 2 a.m. now, and I was starting to get tired. Somewhere that looked semi comfortable. It was a neighborhood residence, and there was a table with a chair. But okay, maybe I could just, you know, sit down and kind of just like rest like that. I don't know if you've been to Japan in the summer, but it is hot and humid as hell. Japanese mosquitoes. They they don't get they don't care. Just like biting me, biting me on my arms, and I was just like I was just like, no, I can't do this. So I got back up and continued to trek. And by this point I felt like I was in a movie. I was like <laughs> Exhausted now. McDonald's should be opening in about two hours. I'm just gonna head back to Kyoto Station, head back to the McDonald's um, for, so I can be there when it opens. On the floor, I was like, up against the wall uh, and I tried to lean my head, you know. We're gonna have to get used to this. This is my life now. Um, and that's cool. Maybe I can become some kind of ninja. Uh, start training in the forest or get adopted by an old elderly retired Japanese couple and become their adopted son Looked like I, I was passed out drunk like there were people walking past me like I was just like hey drunk Janai drunk Janai come six o'clock McDonald's has opened use the Wi-Fi charge my phone I was so excited, but I happened to have my British debit card with me that had just enough to buy another ticket back to Tokyo like online on the phone web on the website but if I didn't have the card, I would be dead right now. Because there's, there's no way, other way I would have been able to make it out. I was so happy, I was just like, okay, cool. I can actually get back home now. The bus departs from Osaka, which is a, another main city about half an hour away. I had a few coins and I just I had a few coins and I just, I bought a ticket. A train and on the train, I could see the rolling, the ending credits. I could hear the music in the background. I was just like, ah, uh, well, that was an ordeal to say the least. <laughs> But if there's one thing I learned, is that during your youth, don't be afraid to dare, don't be afraid to dream. You know, it might work out for you. And although I'm leaving the love of my life here in Kyoto, at least I've got her chopsticks to remember her by. Wait, where, where are the chopsticks? I thought you had the chopsticks. No, no, I don't have the chopsticks. You're an idiot. What did I come studio Wait, for? Wait, yo, 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 where's my bag? Yeah, so I, 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 I left. So I had to go back and get it. See, that, this is how you know I'm an idiot. So I went back, I had to go back. The thing I love about Japan is that if you lose something in public, you'll get it back like 95% of the time. And they had it. And I was just like, So no kaban no naka ni wa, no boku no shorai, no okusan, no ga kureta hashi, 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 hashi ga haiteimasu no de, shugoku kansha o yatteimasu. Arigato, arigato. I can't afford to make any more train journeys because at this point I won't even have enough money to get to Osaka to get my bus. Like that's how, <laughs> that's how mad it was. So yeah, got uh, got on the train again. Roll credits again. Yeah. Ah, well, that was to say the least. That one thing I is that Managed to make it to Tokyo, including trains and everything like that to get back to my door. I literally, literally had like, not even 15. It might have been about five yen, which is the equivalent of 
to like less than a penny even joking that's how close I cut it um, a lot of you guys probably don't know but I was actually living with my J my granddad was stationed in Japan six years and so I was able to stay with him and then when I went back to live in Japan I also stayed with him and he couldn't speak Japanese or English so more often than not we just wouldn't speak except for you know hello good morning how are you can I have some money please so when I got home seven in the morning he was getting ready for work and I was just like and he was just like and I just there was no way to tell him what I had just been through I couldn't tell him about my story um, and how much of a dickhead his son is I started texting my friends in London and I was telling them oh you know what I really like this girl and my friend was just like bro okay you've been talking about this for two days straight just ask her to be your girlfriend I asked her to be my girlfriend after meeting her online um, going on a single date with her long distance um, she said no obviously I didn't feel sad at the rejection you know why I didn't feel sad or disappointed because she rejected me in the Japanese way she said and I was just like that's in a year's time like, are you I'm all for you baby will you be able to wait for me and she was just like I can wait I actually remember the text I don't know why that stood out to me I think that's just because it was the last message that I ever received from her the only thing that I saw in our chat box it probably blocked me from that point onwards I'm not gonna lie um, did she ever come to to London no no she didn't will she ever come we'll see I haven't lost hope uh, it's been four years um, I'll be waiting I'll be forever waiting for you babe. yeah women you know they, they think you know I know your games now I know your games when you say you're gonna do something just to spare my feelings you ain't gonna do it you're just gonna block me luckily I haven't had many scarring experiences except for when I did go back to Japan and make my first official girlfriend that right there was a scarring experience desperation along with virginity causes you to make some real messed up decisions for some reason that is also uh, another story in itself and I would like to tell you guys about it so if you guys would like to listen to more stories let me know in the comments I probably will release the video anyways if I'm being honest with you guys right now you commenting helps me and helps the algorithm helps push my video out you guys are so good to me and I love you all very much I talk to every single one of you but just like you showed me support on my TikTok thank you again for all your support like, I love you guys so much um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Um,